Let's talk about the current controversy over <laughs> LeVar's no idea. Right. The current controversy over the seventh inning stretch music. I guess I shouldn't say controversy as overblowing it. Um, but Dan, you wrote about this. The team is going away from Take On Me um, and they're crowdsourcing for a new song for a seventh inning stretch. Yeah, I mean, they, they benched Take On Me about a month ago and they sort of didn't say whether they might bring it back or what their plan was exactly. But their thought was with, with Michael Morse being as popular as he is in San Francisco and sort of talking in the media about how great the fans are singing Take On Me, it didn't really make sense to keep doing that. So they're going to probably have a rotation of songs. Last night they actually used uh, Ice Ice Baby, which I don't think was oh. very well received. <laughs> um, so let's cross that one off the list. But uh, right, they're, they're, so trying to, they're trying to take suggestions. So give us a suggestion. Dan, give me yours to start. I, you know, I don't really have a good one. I was thinking Marvin Gaye is a natural choice with some local connections. So, you know, let's get it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For the seventh inning stretch. I, no, you know, I don't... I, I don't have a great suggestion. I, I know that I was I had 24 full hours to consider this, and I don't have much of anything for you. I, I think if they could find something with a local connection that would sort of prohibit other teams from wanting to go in the same direction, that would be good. That's all I got for you. You have to recuse yourself know, since you're sorry. reporting on this subject. <laughs> Keith, give me your suggestion for something. Well, stretch I, me. I, read, I read Dan's post, and it, and it made me think a little bit. Uh, it made me almost second-guess my suggestions because they in the post, the guy says, you know, we know our demographics really well. And then you read all the comments, and they're like, uh, journey and, and like, you know, like <laughs> d different kind of stuff. Like middle aged white guy music? Is that what you're trying to say? I didn't say it. You said it. Um, but, you know, nothing gets a crowd going more in D.C. than go go music, right? So, yep. so whether, whether, uh -oh, you, shaking his head. whether you go Chuck Brown, which I know they already use Bust and Loose, I, I right. think that's perfect, um, or whether you go like, like Junkyard Band, um, Sardines, or Pork, nobody knows what it means, but everybody will be singing it. Or, uh, or, you know, even if you went kind of like more classic funk like, uh, like the Blackbirds, like Rock Creek Park or something like that. I don't know if that, that quite works, but, uh, yeah. but everybody right would sing it, right you know. On. Something like that. Those are um, good, good suggestions. Yeah, these are sing-along sing songs, and, and Go Go makes people go crazy. This is easy. It's an easy one. All right. And, and my suggestion is killing Go Go. You have to have a song that transcends race, demographic, geographics, any of those things. You, you want to have a song that young and old people can relate to, whether whether what, what their racial background, right, ethnic right. background, doesn't matter. So what is that key song? Sweet Caroline. Uh, Come on, it gets, uh, it gets that's crowd that's participation. Still, Fenway does that. It, well, I, didn't, I don't know about, all, about Fenway. I, I mean, nah. obviously they made a great decision then, but Sweet Caroline <laughs> in the seventh stretch, young people know it, old people know it, people are having beers flowing and peanuts and shells are flying everywhere, <laughs> the smell of popcorn, and all that, and Ben's Chili Bowl, and all that stuff you can smell wow. with Thank Sweet so Caroline. <laughs> Done I deal. Got, I got a, a, a totally different one for you. Done deal. Black Keys, Gold on the Ceiling. You got to have something upbeat. It strikes sort of between like the older white guy generation, like those folks will like that, plus the younger crowd's more contemporary. It's upbeat, so people dance to it. That's I've heard Sweet Caroline right. playing Beaver Stadium. <laughs> and um, let me tell you something. I have a chance to, to get back to Beaver, your Beaver Stadium of, days. Yeah, right.